Oh my goodness me. How gorgeous is this? You've probably seen, I've been sharing the fabric for the butterflies and the messages in the bottle. Well, one of my lovely customers wanted one, a reversible tote made um, and custom sized it. So this is the end result. Have a look at it. So I did a little fussy cutting as you do, because I really wanted the butterflies in the bottle. Uh, and one of these bottles that's got the flowers, I wanted that like in the front center. But the front and the back are the same. The print is just placed a little different. Here's our straps. So this tote is as wide as it is high. So its finished measurements are 11 inches wide, which is what the original width is in my reversible tote pattern. But I've just reduced the height down so that it's 11 inches wide by 11 inches high. And this is the end result. We wanted a firm structure for the tote and not stiff, stiff, but a bit firm. Wait until you see what's coming. I'm releasing a new interfacing. So it's part of my Sure Fuse collection. So this is coming out. So this exterior has got one layer of my Sure Fuse woven interfacing. That's a firm interfacing. So that's the new one. And then the lining has my Sure Fuse interfacing. Have a look at that stunning colour. And it picks up the colours that are in this print beautifully. As you can see, like there's those colours there and it just ties in and marries with it beautifully. I just love it. Um, I used a matching coloured thread in there and then I went with a rose gold zipper and zipper pull because I thought that it married in with these colours. My customer gave me creative freedom with the rest of the features. She wanted this for the exterior and when I showed her this colour for the lining she was like oh my god yes. <laughs> so as you can see it's just beautiful. Um, now the pocket I said I'd surprise her with what I put inside the pocket and Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> so I've used the print there as well. And I fussy cut it so that we've got that beautiful bottle there. Looking back at her when she opens up her pocket. So there's her pocket. Isn't that just gorgeous, hey? I thought that the... Went with the lighter colour sort of pink a shaded zipper tape with some rose gold teeth. Mine, I've put my label here. So that's the label I've got in it. So it's got Chris Lucas and it's handmade in Australia. So that's the lining. And then we have on this side of the lining, we have a nice big slip pocket. So you've probably seen, if you haven't had a look, I posted the picture of the slip pocket when I um, finished making it for this panel. And for the slip pocket, I've also featured that with the butterflies in the bottle. And I added a couple of little rose gold rivets. Let me hold this up. You can see it's got a nice firm structure. So there's that. Isn't it just gorgeous? And the exterior, it doesn't have any pockets or anything. And then we wanted a, a firmer base. So have a look at this for a beautiful firm structured base for a fabric tote. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Wait until you see what I have coming for you. Um, so yeah, so there's the bottom of the tote and it's all top stitched and everything there. So lovely firm base of the bag and that's it. So it still can be folded, this tote. So I just, you just wouldn't crease that bottom. But what you can do with this one is you've got a couple of options there. Like you still can fold it, but I wouldn't. I would just 
lay it out. Because I'll have to fold it to post it to my customer. So I would probably lay it out like this. So that that lays flat. And then you could put the straps inside. Lay them like that. Fold it like that. And then you can still do a fold that way as well. So it is still foldable. But yeah, it just still has a firm bottom. <laughs> and it just bounces back into shape. But it's not a thick, bulky bottom. You can see it's beautiful. So that's it. The lining also, you can see, has a nice firm bottom. So it has a layer of my Sure Fuse firm interfacing. And it's just a, it's a woven interfacing and it's fusible. So really easy to add and not really expensive either. So for those of you who um, can't get your hands on Decaville or are looking for a cheaper alternative um, that doesn't, like the adhesive doesn't gum up your needles or anything like that, keep your eye out. It'll be here in a few weeks. Um, I've been using it for quite some time, but um, yeah, I've bought it in a bigger quantity so that I can share it with everyone. So there we go. There is our beautiful message in a bottle reversible tote. So if my customer does want to reverse it out, she still can. So let me just, I'll do a quick flip like. <laughs> It's not a quick strip, it's a quick flip. Look at that beautiful colour. It's just stunning. You can see with my interfacing too that I use, it doesn't crinkle up your fabric really badly or anything like that, because on a plain fabric, you can really see crinkles and that. Especially because these are 100% cotton. But there we go. There's the reversible side of the tote. It's gorgeous. And there's the other side. So we've just still got that slip pocket. And we still have a lovely firm base on the bottom of our tote. So gorgeous. Really, really nice. So if my customer's wearing an outfit and it's a really busy print on her outfit, she can just turn her tote around and show off that gorgeous colour. But I'd say the main, the main way my customer will be using it is having this side facing out. And just, you can see sort of how lovely and firm this fabric is. There's my corners are popped back out and it's done. And you can see it's not all crinkled up and wrinkled up. I'll bring it up close for you to have a look. There we go, it's gorgeous. There's our bottom still. Still got a lovely firm base. And that was with folding it and turning it. So still a nice firm base. And <laughs> I just love it when I finish making something and I get to have a look at it. I just think it's adorable. And it's still washable. Not that I'd probably throw it in a washing machine. Um, but you could. Uh, you'd just give it a press again and I'd just hang it on the line to dry. You'd just hang it by its shoulder straps. Like that, maybe over a coat hanger and just put it out to dry. But more than likely, I would just probably finger, like finger, just a damp cloth and just give it a hand wipe. That's it. Okay, that's all from me. Got a busy day teaching a private sewing class tomorrow. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.